Joshua Tree National Park. Proceed to the moon. National parks require permits for filming, even for YouTubers, and it's a bit confusing. So, I'll explain a little bit more about that later. But I am going to take some still photographs, and I will make a little slideshow for you. That's not quite as good as video, but you'll get to see how pretty it is here. Okay, there's an exhibit up here. We're going to stop. I don't know if this was the one that I had a sign for earlier or if this is a different one. And somebody is like parked right in the center, taking up all of the space. Let's go take some photographs. Joshua Tree National Park. We're at the Black Rock Canyons Campground. And uh, if you notice, I, I had to change cameras because my iPhone wouldn't stay straight in the holder that I have for it, so I got to get a new holder. And my GoPro batteries <laughs> won't charge up, so no GoPro this trip. Anyway, we're getting ready to leave the park. I'm going to drive around and uh, see if I can find some trash cans to put my trash in. And then we'll uh, go get some fuel and 
go look for the Indian Cove campground, which is where we're going to be staying tonight. Well, <laughs> I stopped at two gas stations. The first one only had two diesel pumps, and somebody was at both of them, and they were not even in their car. They were at, inside the store. So I came down to the second one and had to wait, but I finally got my tank filled up. So now we're headed to the west entrance of Joshua Tree National Park for our second day. See you in a bit. So there's a little bit of a line. It's about 15 cars in front of us, maybe. I'm hoping I can fill up with water here. I understood there were places at the entrances to fill up with water and dump stations too, if I'm not mistaken, but I guess we'll find out. There's a park ranger stopping on the passenger side of some cars and he's telling them something, I'm not sure. I hope it's nothing bad, <laughs> like something is closed or whatever. Well, all those people are going around, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. the right hand lane when you get enough room you can use the right hand lane and pass oh there, great okay? thank you yep, you're welcome have a good day you too yay we get to go around everybody because i have a lifetime senior pass so good for me finally something's going right today oh my gosh
So, there's tons of YouTube videos out there where people have filmed in national parks. Um, some of them are monetized and some of them are not. And I would gather that most of the people, if they didn't have a permit to film there, they didn't realize that they had to have one. Um, there's a very popular uh, husband and wife team on YouTube. Um, their channel is called Kara and Nate. And that's the first time I ever heard about this permit requirement where they said they got fined a thousand dollars for filming in national parks. And even though the National Park Service website says that they are not looking for people like that, um, one of their viewers actually reported them. <laughs> and so, what could they do? <laughs> they had to find them because they do make a lot of money on YouTube. There was another guy that got fined, and instead of paying the fine, he fought it, and he won. So in January of 2021, um, the, there was no requirement for YouTubers to get permits to film in national parks. And that lasted until October of 2022 when the National Park appealed and they won. <laughs> so now the rule is back to the way that it was before. So um, it's all very confusing and I think my stance on it is I don't want to get fined. And even though my channel is not monetized, I understand that YouTube makes money on my channel, uh, whether I am I do or not. And so I don't know if that's considered a commercial filming, but I don't want to take any chances. So um, I am going to apply for a permit and claim a First Amendment right so that I don't have to pay the permit fee when I submit the application. There was another fellow, his name is Bob, I think. I'll put a link to his video as well, who applied for permits this way to several national parks. And he said that within a couple of months, he got responses from all of them telling him he did not need a permit. So, yeah, it seems very confusing, but I think I'm going to play it safe and follow the rules. And so that's why this video has no filming of the National Park. But I did take some still photographs, which is allowed. And I made little screen um, slideshows for you. So... There's another slideshow of my last day uh, going back down through the south entrance of the park. Yeah. So my favorite area going back down through there was the Chola Gardens. I, I think I could have spent all day there, but Piglet wasn't too excited about it. So we just stayed for a little bit. I walked on the path a little ways and took some photographs, and then we headed out. So, enjoy the last little set of uh, slides. <laughs>